Code 7, the story continues with another fine release. Brownie Brown. R. Whatever R stands for. Long, long ago, there was a goddess. She cherished all life and transformed herself into a mana tree to watch over the world. Thus, the legend began. As time passed, memory of the goddess faded from people's hearts. One day, a man crept into the sanctuary where the mana tree slumbered. With the power of mana, he built a great civilization, but this marked the dawn of a terrible age of darkness. The man forced the world to kneel to his will. His name was Vandal. When souls were trapped in the darkness of despair, a glimmer of hope shone in the hearts of a few brave youths. The fighting was fierce, but they would not give up. One wielded a holy blade that gleamed as brightly as the hope in their hearts. Powerless before this light, the darkness was vanquished, and the power of mana was reclaimed from the human hands and restored to its rightful place. But now... The people have forgotten the goddess once again. Sword of Mana. Okay. New game. Select character. Uh, I'm going to select the boy. Just because he is much better than the girl. And I'm not being sexist. I mean, seriously. The girl sucks. Well, in the beginning, she sucks. Like, you get, when you're the boy, you get the sword. And it's just, it's just better. The boy is just better. Okay. This dream again. Oh, don't make me watch it again. In the beginning, the world was void. Then, the goddess appeared. In her left hand, she held the light of hope. And in her right, the sword of mana. The goddess summoned spirits to assist in the creation of life. Finally, to maintain peace, the goddess cast away the sacred sword. It is said the sword rusted the moment it left her hand. The goddess then transformed herself into a great tree that would sustain and watch over the world. A mystical power guards the sanctuary where the tree stands to this day. And here's little me! Ha <laughs> ha! Whoa, what a song! I could practically see the mana tree! Is that so? Your voice is so unusual. It's like I'm dreaming. Thanks for your praise, love. Your words are magic and a great encouragement. Magic, you say? Not at all! I'd rather hear you tell me your story about how the Gemonites defeated the evil Vandal Empire. Unfortunately, I cannot sing songs about myself. Oh, why not? I want to know the truth. Other minstrels just sing about stuff they've heard from other people. They get the story all wrong. Ha 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 ha. A story's just a story. No matter the truth, no matter who tells it, it's still a story. Then I'll sing your story. Oh, I just remembered. We have a loot at home. I'll go get it. Such a good-natured child. You should get home. The council might be angry if you dawdle. Dad won't be mad. Da today I'm singing with my... Ah, today's my singing lesson with Lord Granz. Wow, I heard that Lord Granz quit singing after he lost his loot. Nuh-uh, Lord Granz hasn't quit singing. The 
evil man. Break it down. But, Dark Lord, this Grand Realm Council Herman's estate. So what? Because he's Council, we should allow him to harbor heretics? Heretics? In my house? Did something happen to Mom and Dad? Most certainly not. But Sir Herman is a friend of Lord Grand's. To suddenly barge in with soldiers seems unthinkable. Anything else to say? Sir, uh, are you telling me to step aside? At the very least, let us get Lord Grand's permission. It's thanks to him that we enjoy peace now. Leave you, object. I have my ways. And that's that. Oh no! I've got to tell Dad right away! And here's Sir Bogard and Love's father. Hey! I told you not to come in that way! We have guests! Dad! Big trouble! We're surrounded by soldiers! What? And here's Dark Lord. Ominous! Dun 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 dun! Prince Stroud, what is this all about? You will refer to me as Dark Lord. As servant of the realm, surely you know the consequences of harboring heretics. Herman, it's just as I told you. This masked man is the one who burned down Mana Village. This man is insane! And he's looking back and forth. No, Prince Tr I mean, Dark Lord! Surely there must be! This can't be true! Heretics. I vividly remember how Vandal used them to pull the wool over the eyes of the entire nation. I won't allow you to protect them! Of course not! I'm not one to protect subversives! If they are ju as you say! I'm, I'm gonna change his voice right now. That Grons, he's not a real man. How does one raise such a foolish son? Fiff, fiff, fiff. That's enough of that. If you've got something to say, let your sword do the talking. There must be some mistake, Dark Lord. Put your sword away, please. Out of my way. The idea that the Mana Clan are heretics is simply laughable. I don't know what excuses you'll make, but your sins are severe. I'll make you pay. Pay? You're the one who will pay, Bogard. Yeah, they're too similar. What? Knowing all you do, still want to play hero? I'll show you. I'll show you the truth. Traitor! Protect Dark Lord! Uh, crap. Run, Herman! Just drawing a blank with these guys. Herman, what is happening? I don't know! Prince Stroud mentioned something about the Mana Clan being heretics! I have no idea! The heretic girl is here. Go get her. Oh, whoops. Go out the back! Take love and the girl. Don't let anyone see you! It, yes! I have no choice. I'll take you to her. Oh, yeah. Who in the hell could they be talking about? <gasps> oh, look! It's the girl! Mother! No! Don't leave me! Wake up! You must flee now! What? What's wrong? Where's Sir Bogard? No time to explain! Take her with you! Hurry! Go! Wh who's she? What's going on? Keep quiet! Just get going! I'll deal with them! Open up! One moment, please! I'm dressing for bed! Go! Quickly! But, ma'am! No, I won't! You come too! You're a big boy now! Take care of her! I'll try! Don't worry about your father and me! Prince Trout is such a nice man! 
I'll tell you all about it later! And the dark, ominous men! And the mother! And the running! And the tripping! Oh no! Not this dream again! Don't make me watch. Uh. Oh, that was a little suggestive there. Ignore that last remark. And finally, the actual game. Whoa! What's up with you, sound like a banshee? For once, I was having a pretty sweet dream until you interrupted. Uh. Hey, love, what kind of dream were you having? Wanna tell me about it? Well, I messed that up. Uh, no! Don't say that! I'll interpret it! Okay, I sure, I guess. Were you eating a rabbit? Or maybe a muff boom? I hear they're a lot tastier than you might think. A, a girl. A chick? Whoa, the same one as before? Uh, I couldn't protect her. Only I was left. She, after that, she... Oh, get real, will ya? It wasn't your fault. Times are tough. A kid like you couldn't protect her. What could you do? Her name was... Oh crap. Uh... I guess I'll name her as my last game, and that's... I don't know. Uh... Why not? You know what? Uh... This is what I'm gonna do. Just cause I love this series so much. No. There we go. 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 Oh yeah, Zelda. Is that okay? Hells yeah, it's okay. It was Zelda. Zelda? Did you say Zelda? Nah, nah, it can't be. Yes, it is, Willy. It's definitely Princess Zelda. Love, after we're out of here, you can tell me the whole story in detail. For now, just hold that thought. Uh, exclamation point, question mark. Hey, is, is that bread? Huh. <laughs> Yeah, I got extra, and it's primo stuff! That chick, I hope she's alive. I mean, I'm sure she's alive, no doubt about it! Alright, eat up! We're still alive, too! You wanna see that Zelda chick again, right? I'm getting pretty interested in her, too! See that chick again? You're not still thinking about escaping, are ya? Hmph, <laughs> I'm serious this time! One of the soldiers told me! Your last escape plan was a disaster! Another escape plan? Oh yeah! Seems there's a way out through the monster's holding cell! He's pulling your leg. Last time, they even punished us with no food for a week! The guy's legit, I swear! Yeah, I believe the guy cause he gave you bread. No, it's not that! His song! Song? He sang this sad song! Lord Gronz's songs were pretty sad, too. That's it! Lord Gronz turned into a soldier to help us! <laughs> you wish. Trust me, the goddess loves me! The goddess, eh? Okay, and we're done! Uh, that concludes the first part of my series of Sword of Mana. Alright. And I will see you next time.